guys and welcome back to Alaska of 12. I didn't do a double wave. I am so proud of myself, but welcome, welcome back. Hopefully you watched my where the hell was I, where the hell have I been video and you know why I'm welcoming you all back like majorly. I just stumbled through that sentence, didn't I? Oh well. So here I am. I'm back. I will link that video below for those of you who missed it if you want like the little rundown on where I was, what was going on, all that crap. So I thought a fun way to kick off my welcome back to my own channel video would be to share with you guys this ginormous cumulative haul that I have from Fortune Cookie Soap. I have literally placed an order almost every month this summer because they had some amazing events going on and I just had to participate because I'm a crazy person and I'm obsessed with bath and body products and they're the best. So I'm just gonna go through this box. Like you guys, this is ridiculous to a new standard, even for me. Like, oh, look at the amount of crap. I mean, it's not crap, it's amazing. But look at the amount of stuff that I've ordered. Problem, hashtag, hashtag Sadie has problem. But it didn't all come in that box. But one order did all come in that box, but it wasn't all of this. So we are just going to jump right into this. I'm gonna go through products quickly. This video might be a little long, so those of you who love Fortune Cookie Soap might be excited about this video. Those of you who just really get sick of me talking, don't watch this video or watch it, whatever, up to you. I will also link below all the blog posts and videos I've done of other Fortune Cookie Soap uh, subscription box unboxings in the past. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that subscription box though because my fall one for this year has already shipped and it's on its way to me so that will be in a video very very soon once I get caught up on all these other videos. So let's just fortune cookie soap it. The first event that I participated in this summer for fortune cookie soap was their create your own or CYO uh, whipped cream event. So basically once a year, but I believe it's now twice a year. This is the first time I ever participated. They allow you to be your own like perfumologist, fragrance mixologist, mad scientist, crazy person. And you can take up to three different scents and mix them together to make your own. Now you can either use their scents from their past collection, which they refer to as their museum scents or their museum collection. And you can search all those on their site. The ones that are still available, there's a few that aren't, and they list that. They actually have a whole list of all the scents that are available. So I'll link all this stuff below. But I started out with four. I picked four. Now, I played it relatively safe this go around. I picked three of the museum scents. And of course, of course, they were from the previous Harry Potter collection because my obsession runs that deep. So I started with Gryffindor and I meant to look up the scent descriptions for this for you guys to speak them but for this video I'm just gonna have scent descriptions pop up like here or here. I'm kidding. They'll be right here or right over here wherever it works but they'll be on the bottom somewhere. Anyway I picked up Gryffindor which has been my favorite out of the ones that I've ordered. I mean I love love this scent. Then I also picked up Polyjuice Potion and this one is like a cult favorite. People love this scent. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit stronger than what it is. I don't feel it's as like intense in your face as people said it was going to be, but I like it still. I really do. And then for a friend of mine, I picked up Unicorn Tears and I'm really glad I got this for her, not for me because it's totally not my thing, but it smells really, really good. It's just not something I would personally wear. I don't think it smells bad or anything, but it's just not my thing, which is why I got it for her. Because when I read the description, I was like, oh, this needs to go to that girl. So if you're watching this video, hey. Um, then I did decide to be like my own little mix master. And I did one that is peony, jasmine, and then their blend of nectarine and honey. I was going for something like floral and sweet and summery and fun, but not like straight up coconut or, you know, coconut and jasmine or whatever. So I actually really, really like this. I don't know if you guys can tell. I've used like a decent chunk of this. It is a very interesting smell. I can't quite pick up any single note that I mentioned. Like it doesn't smell just like peony. It doesn't smell just like jasmine, just like nectarine, just like honey. It's a blend. It's a well blended. It's probably not for everyone. It is really, really strong. Like I will put this on in the morning and when I lay down in bed at night, I'm like, 
I still smell like my whipped cream. So that's good. So those were the four I did for myself. Now I did let each of the kids mix their own. Basically what I did is I read all the fragrances to them and in true classic child fashion, they picked out the ones that they were familiar with and they were all food related. So Liliana's was Krispy Kreme donut, eggnog, and oh, what was her last scent? No, toasted marshmallow. So it straight up smells like sweet sugar thing. It smells good and she loves it. But if you're not into like super sticky, sweet smelling fragrances, I would not recommend it. Nikolai wanted his, he was very specific. He's like, mom, I want mine to smell like peppermint hot chocolate. So we did hot cocoa, peppermint, and uh, toasted marshmallow for his. And it does, it smells just like a peppermint hot chocolate and he's in love with it. Danielle wanted hers to smell like apple pie. And so we did hot apple pie, Krispy Kreme donut, and warm vanilla sugar. And it smells really good. So they're all super sweet. And when they all like take a bath and put them on together and then put their bathrobes on and sit down and you walk past them, it's like a bakery, like coffee shop <laughs> combination because they just smell like so like sugary and sweet. And they loved it. And so because they loved it so much, I thought that I would try to be my own little fragrance mixologist again during the uh, Create Your Own Mist Me, which is Fortune Cookie Soap's body spray event. And I just have to say, I royally messed this up, you guys. This has nothing to do with Fortune Cookie Soap. I just picked some really crappy scent combinations, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Starting with the two that I did for Danielle and Liliana, which were supposed to be Frozen inspired. I did Elsa, Let It Go, and Anna, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Now, Elsa straight up stinks. You're stinky, Elsa. Anna is good. It's just not seasonally appropriate. Like, I hate fall scents when it's not fall. I hate summer scents when it's not summer. So this smells basically, I use the scent zero or the, whoo, caps are flying everywhere, people. I use the fragrance mix of Fortune Cookie Soaps zero from their, um, last year's fall collection. I was trying to remember when it was. Last year's fall collection. I use that in here along with a couple of others. So it's very like, it's very fall-y and gingery and pumpkin-y, which is pretty much what I was going for, but I don't love it as much as I thought I would. So Anna is okay. Also, I was going for this like menthol minty airy i have magical power scent and it just smells like dirt oh like i royally effed this up liliana says she likes it but i feel so bad because it's like perfect icy elsa blue but it stinks and like i said it is not fortune cookie soap's fault i sucked at this create your own event to the point where i'm like i'm sticking to museum scents sticking to museum scents for all of it never blending anything again ever because then I did two for myself they suck again not fortune cookie soap's fault I just want to express that like 50 times starting with bad wolf yes that's a doctor who reference yes it was inspired by Rose Tyler yes I was dumb and literally like my whole inspiration was oh Rose Tyler rose scents so I looked through the museum and found some like fragrance mixes that had rose in them had I done that and not asked for 15% rose, which I don't think I mentioned, you can give them like the percentage amount. So if you want one fragrance to stand out more than the other, you can say like 50% or 30%. It just has to equal 100%. Or you can say, hey, I trust you, Fortune Cookie Soap makes it for me, which is what I should have said because I think that's where my problem was. I don't think my scents generally were terrible together. I don't know. Maybe they were. I just, I messed it up. And this smells like, oh, like great grandma's rosy potpourri. I don't know if either one of my great grandmas had rose potpourri, but this smells like rose potpourri or straight like rose. And it's because I think I did 15% rose, which rose is a really strong fragrance. So you think I would know that. But yeah, this just smells like roses. And it's not pretty. Like I wear it and I'm like, oh, I can't do this. So again, I don't know what I'm going to do with Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf is bad. Okay. Then I have one pig's fly. Picked a random name. First of all, I should have picked a different color than green because this looks like a little swampy mess mess to me. 
I don't know. It's because different fragrance oils and perfume oils that they use combined with the base, combined with the color, can come out looking like this. Like, it, again, it's not their fault. Like, I'm not hating on Fortune Cookie Soap. I'm hating on my lack of an ability to mix proper scents. This one, I don't hate, okay? I don't. I would prefer it in a body spray or a body spray, a body wash or a soap or something. This just isn't a mist me like perfume that I want to smell like all day long. It's sweet. And for some reason, this one, when I spray it on my skin, it's super, super sticky. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Probably my fault as well. Um, but yeah, this is just, it's not good, you guys. It's, it's not good. So out of the two Create Your Own events that I participated in, one was amazing. The second was awesome. They canceled the body wash um, or shower gel or whatever it is, Create Your Own for this month, which I'm happy they did because I was tempted to try it. And I'm like, no. No, this is $10 body wash and you suck at mixing fragrances together, girl. Don't do it. So the next one is in September. I'm not sure what it is. And then I'll link the whole create your own schedule for Fortune Cookie Soap below for those of you that want to uh, try something. Sorry, this stuff makes my nose itch like nobody's business and I just sprayed like three of them in here, I think. Um, so yeah, I enjoy the create your own events, especially because I join the like, Facebook page fan group for fortune cookie soap, which I'll link below. I think it's got like 500 members now and it's just fortune cookie soap stuff all day long. And I got really excited seeing everyone else's create your owns and then mine just kind of for the missed me. So hopefully I'll be redeeming myself from that one on the next create your own. Anyway, with my create your own order, I picked up a couple of extra things that I had wanted to try just to kind of um, save on shipping. I believe the shipping flat rate in the United States is $6.95 no matter what you order. So if you order one item or five, it's $6.75, which I hope Fortune Cookie Soap never changes that because for Alaska, that's amazing. So I decided to pick up one of their, whoo, I'm dropping stuff everywhere and I probably will this whole video. One of their whipped cream samplers and I picked four cents. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about because I don't like it and it is Tree of Life. And again, this was one that I saw people kind of raving about on the um, fan group Facebook page. And it was kind of like some people loved it, some people didn't. So I was like, oh, I'll just try it. Yeah, not a fan. Uh, this smells like grass and like wet earth. I don't know. I don't love it. Luckily, Nikolai loves it. He smelled it. He's like, Mom, can I have this? I'm like, yes, you can have this. So he's going to be so excited that I finally filmed this in this little... This little thing can be his. So yeah, it just wasn't for me. The other one I ordered was butter beer, and we will talk about butter beer in a minute because I ordered some other butter beer stuff. Um, this smells so good. It smells like those butterscotch candies that I just remember from my childhood so so much. This is like sweet, like sinfully sweet. I just love it. I love it more in the bath products that I got it in. This smells really good, and I have a feeling like during the fall and winter, when I want like a comforting, sweet scent, I'll wear this as a whipped cream. And that's what I love, I have to mention about Fortune Cookie Soap, is no matter what fragrance they add to their whipped creams, I have found the actual formula and the moisturizing properties of them to be consistent across the board. They are never sticky, they are never tacky, they are never greasy, like I just love them. So. Don't be afraid to try different scents and think that it's going to change the formula and it's going to make you hate the body butter because it hasn't. So yeah, that little butter beer one. Then I got one of their like original classic non-museum scents, uh, cupcake. And this does smell like a sugary vanilla cupcake. So if you're into that scent, go for it. And then this is from their candy aisle collection, which was their summer collection. And this is the lemon drop it like it's hot scent. I love it. This is as close to the Satsuma scent from the Body Shop that I have ever smelled in another product, but it's got like different notes to it. Like it's not exactly the same. And I will always be a Satsuma person. Like if I don't have at least one Satsuma body butter from the Body Shop in my possession, I kind of freak a little bit. Like I'm not obsessed and in love with it, but this is kind of a good like fun, but slightly different in the same scent family as that. So yeah, there's that. So I picked that up. I also, in the same fragrance, Lemon Drop It Like It's Hot, picked up their dry shampoo. This is a powdered dry shampoo. Now, I have two problems with this. I'm just going to be honest.
So I have two problems with this product. Uh, one is the amount of product that is in here. I mean, look at the size of this bottle. It's a decent sized bottle. You assume you're getting a ton of product. You like filled to here. So I think it's just the bottle that they have. I remember getting dry shampoo from them before and it was in a different package. So I think this is just the container they have. Either way, it's a powder, powder based dry shampoo. Obviously it's not an aerosol can. It's one that you sprinkle out. I like to apply it with a brush, like a makeup brush, um, like a fluffy powder brush on my roots. So, um, it's still a decent amount of product because of the type and consistency of the product, but I think I have a mild allergic reaction to this every time I use it, and I think it's the fragrance because I, unless they like changed an ingredient in their dry shampoos, I don't ever remember having this reaction to them before, but it makes like my whole scalp like tingly and red, and then I had like this gnarly breakout on my hairline. Um, let's never show that angle of my face again, but I had like a gnarly breakout on my hairline for like a week after using this a couple of times. So I think I'm going to have to pass this along to somebody else. I love the scent. I love the formula of this, but it just, I used it like two or three times and every time I broke out and my scalp tingled. So something tells me that's not a sensation you should have when using a product. Okay. These are the two other butterbeer products that I was talking about that I ordered. Actually, there's a third. Wait, what am I thinking? Found it. Three. Yay. Okay, so the first one is the OCD hand sanitizer. Smells just like butterbeer. Doesn't smell like alcohol. I don't know how they do that with their dry shampoos. Dry shampoos. Brr. Can you tell I haven't filmed videos in a little while? Can you? Can you? I can. I don't know how they make their hand sanitizers without them smelling like alcohol, but they do, and they're amazing. And this is like such a purse diaper bag friendly size carry-on, um, travel size product. It's amazing because nobody needs like a ton of hand sanitizer at once. I hope. Maybe you do. I don't know what you do with yours, but I don't need that much when I use mine. Okay. The other two Butterbeer products, back to them. This is the mouth bath and this is the bath oil. Yeah, a bath oil. I don't know how Fortune Cookie Soap does this. They're like little wizard magician genie geniuses. I don't know, but it's an oil that mixes into your bath water. I kid you not, this stuff does not like sit on top of your bath water, separate from your bath water. It blends in with your bath water and just makes it like silky and like hydrating and you get out and your skin is like deep oil moisturized and smells amazing. I don't understand. Whatever scent they bring this bath oil out in next, I'm gonna get it. I don't care what it is and I've been trying to reserve this because I know this is like a fragrance butterbeer that is suited for the winter. Like I'm going to read so many books in so many like bath oil baths. It's a little ridiculous. This is the milk bath. Now what this is, is it's like a little hydrating crystallized powdered formula milk bath that you just like put scoops of it in your bath. Obviously, as you can see, I've had a little bit of fun with this and it's been really nice and enjoyable. And again, I believe I'm going to need to get this in some more scents because they're really nice bath products and I love their packaging and their labels. Like I don't feel like it's kind of cheesy to have them sitting out in your bathroom. I feel like they look really cute. So yeah, I forgot that my butterbeer obsession runs even deeper. I got the bath gelato, which if you guys have never seen one of these, I did share a bath gelato sampler in one of my fortune cookie soap videos. I know that they look like a scoop of ice cream and they even give you a spoon, which I'm pretty sure I just dumped out in here somewhere. But yeah, there's a, oh yeah, here it is. Come here. Um, a little plastic spoon. So, you know, if you want to scoop your gelato bits in your bath, there you go. But I just dumped the whole thing in because I have no self-control. Whoops. But yeah. Whoa! Goodness. Um, but yeah, that was the Butterbeer Bath Gelato. So I got that in Butterbeer as well. And I forgot to mention with this Butterbeer stuff, it was a museum collection scent. Yeah, it was in their museum collection of scents and it wasn't available as a regular product and then they brought it back in like a mini collection. They call it Butterbeer some of the things. So they made some of their products available in the Butterbeer fragrance again, which is why I picked as many of them up at once when I did. Before I forget about this, this is the Lemon Drop It Like It's Hot Solid Bubble Bath. I just had to get this when I saw it on their website. I The Lemon Drop It Like It's Hot scent was my favorite one from their summer collection that I smelled in the soapbox. And so I just had to get this.
This looks like a giant everlasting gobstopper and I love it. Look at like how bright and sparkly it is. Oh, and it smells so good and I just got it on my nose. I always get stuff on my nose when I film videos. Like why do I have to smell that close to my face? So yeah, I did get um, another bath product and I have been hoarding these from myself and trying not to use them and that has taken a lot out of me because I really wanted to just dump them all in my bath at once as soon as I got them, but I haven't. Mostly because I haven't been home most of the summer. So that is the end of like the early summer collection, butterbeer some of the things, create your own. Now we're into the insanity that was the what is five o'clock somewhere whipped cream anniversary limited edition. They found this used to be like a favorite of everyone's pretty much fragrance but then they weren't able to get the fragrance itself anymore and then they found that they still had some around I don't know if they found someone from a found some from a distributor I don't know the, the whole background but what I do know is they released like I think it was 200 or 186 whipped creams but you were only allowed to purchase purchase one like each person so it was fair was only able to purchase one so I did and you guys I don't love it I don't know what to do about this because I know I could trade it on that Fortune Cookie Soap Facebook page fan group for something else, but I kind of don't want to because the fact that it's like an anniversary edition makes me want to love it, but I like the scent, but I don't. Something smells off about it to mine, like something almost smells kind of like, okay, this is going to seem gross, but it seems like it's gone bad. I don't know. If any of you know what I'm talking about, like the smells products get when they've turned or are past their expiration date, which this shouldn't be. And because I've never smelled the scent before, I don't know what to do about it. And I don't want to seem like, like a Debbie Downer or a complainer because this is like a favorite scent for a lot of people, but it doesn't smell right to me. So I don't know what to do. I'm just keeping it. I've had it out like on my little desk vanity area because the label is really, really cute. But in terms of fragrance... I'm not like cocoa banana nuts for it. So I don't know. We are now into the insanity that is this box. And if you have stuck with me for this long, I love you. And I'm actually about to cut this video into two parts right here because I can tell that this video has gotten really, really long. So because all the products that I just mentioned bring me up to my Christmas in July fortune cookie soap products that I bought during their huge Christmas in July sale last month. I am going to just cut this video here because this was all of the create your owns, other hauls, other products that I purchased from Fortune Cookie Soap throughout the summer. And then the part two of this will be just the stuff that I got during Christmas in July. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're glad I'm back. I'm happy I'm back. So I really love sharing uh, these videos with you guys. They're super fun. And I'm starting to feel like less of a crazy person every time I sit down in my living room by myself to talk to my camera. So progress people progress but i hope you enjoyed this video like it if you did leave me a comment what's your favorite fortune cookie soap product what's a product you want to try from fortune cookie soap i don't care just tell me what it is and i will see you guys in my next video which will be part two of this one so hey bye guys <laughs>